Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Go, the only series where I get trash from 2km eggs. Oh my god, I cannot get a single good thing out of 2km eggs. 5km eggs, I get some pretty good stuff, and 10km eggs, I'm always happy with them for some reason. Like, whatever I get, always, always a solid egg. And unfortunately, I know a lot of people can't really get 10km eggs, but we're going to hatch one this episode and uh, get a few more eggs and hatch a few other eggs as well. I've got 2km and a few 5s. And, uh, yeah, sorry there hasn't been many Pokemon Go videos recently, been a little bit sick, so obviously, you know, when you're sick, you can't really go out and play Pokemon Go much. What I can really do is sit in my house and, uh, wait for some Pokemon to come towards me, and around my area, I get this. This is all I find. Weedles. Weedles absolutely <laughs> everywhere. Like, like I said before, I'm like the Weedle King, they just gravitate towards me, and it's super annoying. There's been a few updates, so hopefully, uh... Some Pokemon might come to my area now and not be Weedles, but our first egg of the day is going to be a Weedle. <laughs> two kilometer eggs, they hate me so much. I have yet to have a starter Pokemon from a two kilometer egg. Just wish I can get anything but a Weedle or Rattata, Zubat, Spiro, you know, all the bad stuff. But we're going to put another two kilometer egg in the uh, incubator, which we're going to hatch today. But went for a little walk to the shop and I found a Squirtle. 449 Squirtle. I was like, hey man, that's, that's pretty good. That's, pretty, that's like the best thing I've seen in a couple of days around my area you don't get the best stuff and on the way to the shops there's a little river and the squirtles always spawn there so that's pretty good that is actually pretty awesome i plan to go on a big trip in a couple of days and hopefully get a lot of brand new pokemon hatch a lot of eggs take on a couple of gyms but right now bit sick haven't really left the house i've been playing much so i'm slacking a little bit but i want to get level 22 this episode which we are just about gonna do gonna hatch the next egg and Pretty sure it's a five kilometer egg, and we're gonna get a Rhyhorn, which got one before, but I'm really happy about getting Rhyhorn because I need the candy and I have 14 and I need 50 to get a ride on. A 642 Rhyhorn, not that bad at all. But as soon as that one hatched, we got another five kilometer egg. And what's this one gonna be? Gonna get a Psyduck. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing Psyducks now. I hatched so many, caught so many Psyducks. 602 Psyduck, not that bad. I mean, I've got better though, so that can be uh, transferred, but so close to level 22. So we got 2.1 kilometers left on the 10 kilometer egg, and very close to the 2 kilometer egg. That 5 kilometer and another 2 kilometer egg, we're not going to hatch this episode, but we're going to go straight to the 2 kilometer egg, and can we actually get a starter Pokemon? Nope, we're going to get a Caterpie. Yep, I guys, I just do not get good stuff out of 2 kilometer eggs. I see everyone get all these awesome, like, Charmander's, Squirtle's, Bubble Souls out of 2 kilometer eggs. I'm just sitting here with, like, my Weedles, my Caterpies, like, where are they at, man? Where are they at? But I put an incense on, and, uh, right here, get another Pokestop, and people are going to hate me right now, because I didn't get to film this, but I got another 10 kilometer egg, which is awesome. I know a lot of people are struggling to get one. They've been like, these people have been saying they're level 18, 19, 20, haven't even got a single 10 kilometer egg, and... I got another one on like a 10 minute walk. I get like one every time I go out and I, I feel really bad and uh, sometimes I get more than one but <laughs> oh man well, my only tips is just go to as many Pokestops as you can. You can see it's free here and that's on the way to a shop. That's like a 10 minute walk. There's free here. That's free on the way there, free on the way back. Getting so many Pokestops and uh, get so many eggs. I think this next Pokestop as well I get another egg. I think it's only a 2 kilometer egg or a 5 kilometer egg but still. You know, in two poker stops, that's two eggs. That's, that's pretty good. Really good. But around this area right here, there's supposed to be Jotini spawning. But since an update's happened, like, a lot of uh, spawns have changed. And I haven't seen a Jotini around there in a while. So it's, it's kind of heartbreaking. Really working towards that Dragonite. I need one more Jotini to get a Dragonair. But our 10 kilometer egg is going to hatch. And what are we going to get? A Kabuto. Now, I am I was really happy about this because I am so close to Kabutops. That got 22 candy from that. Seven more Kabuto candy, we get a Kabutops. Now around my area, I have not seen a single Kabutops before. And if I got one of these, I'd actually be pretty happy because I'm well, I'm trying to complete the, complete the Pokedex, so obviously getting that is great. And we're so close to 75 fans, I'm just gonna evolve a few Pokemon to uh get to level 22 right now. But man, I wanna get some Pokemon that I haven't really seen in my area before. I, I am really jealous of everyone in different places, like Apparently California is the best place to play Pokemon Go because there's so many awesome Pokemon. Like I see all these people with like awesome teams like Arcanine, Snorlaxes, Rapidash's Dragonite. I'm just sitting here like, I wish Weedles would stop spawning and I get some good stuff. Like I've gone around every area in my town and 
like, I can't find any decent stuff. The best things, best things I can find are Dratinis that spawn quite close to my house. But I get like one or two a day spawning, which isn't the best. I kind of wish like, there was a decent nest nearby. Like, I was going to travel to London because there's like a Charmander nest in a certain place. But apparently that's changed now and that no longer exists. So that kind of sucks. So I'm going to go search Reddit and see if I can find some decent places in London to um, get some great Pokemon. Because I'm uh, going to be going down there soon and hopefully get some pretty awesome things. But I want to apologize for the short episode today because it's not that long. And like I said, being a bit sick, haven't been out as much. But over the weekend, hopefully I'm going to be feeling a lot better and we're going to go and get lots of stuff. I think I'm going to try and hit it hard. I want to try and get level 25 in the next uh, week or so. But level 22 kind of glitched. So I had to leave the game when I came back. Bam. Level 22. 10 Ultra Balls, 10 Hypers, 10 Revives, and 10 Raspberries. I've only used like 2 Ultra Balls. Uh, I think I've got a load, load, load of Ultra Balls left from when I first got them at level 20, I think you get them. So that's pretty good. I'm going to save them for something pretty decent. But we've got one more egg to hatch to end the episode off. We're going to get a Weedle. <sighs> so many Weedles. I wish I can get something a lot, lot better. Oh man, Weedles, you suck so much. But we've got these eggs to hatch. Next episode, we're going to hatch a 10 kilometer egg. Going to go around a giant lake to uh, walk around. Load of Pokestops, load of lure modules. Going to put them down. Hatch a lot of eggs. Get some pretty decent stuff. Next episode should be pretty good and pretty long. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.